Do you ever wonder why Dubai is considered the city of excess and luxury? In this video, I'm going to show you the world of luxury and extravagance as we explore the top 10 most expensive buildings in Dubai. From a city that started as a small fishing community, Dubai has now become a hub for tourism and luxury with a 7-star hotel boasting the second most 5-star hotels in the world and a towering Burj Khalifa the tallest structure in the world standing at an incredible height of 828 meters. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Get ready to be amazed by the sheer extravagance and opulence of these buildings as we uncover the top 10 stupidly expensive buildings in Dubai. Number 10. Dubai Creek Tower, 51 million US dollars. It cost 51 million dollars when the Creek Tower was originally constructed in the 1990s, laying the foundation for Dubai's burst of opulent structures. The engineering company responsible for the project, Oricon, said that at night, Dubai's newly modified tallest tower will generate a beacon of light from its summit. Ten observation decks, including the Pinnacle Room, which will provide 360-degree views of the city, will be housed in an oval-shaped bloom at the summit. Additionally, breathtaking views and its attractiveness are appreciated. According to estimates, Creek Tower is currently worth more than $100 million. Now that's stupidly expensive, but it's just the beginning. Number 9. The Twisted Tower, 272 million US dollars. True to its name, this Twisted Tower stands out in the Gulf country with its distinctive iconic beauty. It comprises of 495 units, 75 stories, and a height of 307 meters. Each floor of this building rotates by 1.2 degrees around a cylindrical elevator and service core to create the tower's twisted shape. An investigation of the tower's potential performance under wind, seismic, and other calamities was conducted to support the novel design. Many experts call the Twisted Tower very expensive or stupidly expensive for what it is, but it's an amazing project nonetheless. Number 8. Indoor Ski Park, 400 million US dollars. The indoor ski park, which opened in November 2005, has an 85 meter high indoor mountain which is equivalent to a 25-story building with five slopes of varying steepness and difficulty, including a 400-meter run, the first indoor black diamond run in the world, and various features that are regularly changed. In terms of scale, Dubai's indoor ski park is superior to other comparable designs around the globe. It requires five years to finish and covered 22,500 square meters. Because of its high slope up to 60 meters, five difficulty beds, climbing areas, sleds, and contemporary cable car system, the stupidly expensive indoor ski park is a must-visit location for Dubai travelers. Number 7. The JW Marriott Marcus Hotel, 490 million US dollars. Because it is the tallest hotel, almost 30 meters above the iconic Eiffel Tower, and expensive to construct, the JW Marriott Marcus Hotel is included on this list. With 1,608 opulent rooms, the hotel appears to be a brilliant diamond in the middle of the night sky, thanks to the outside lighting system. To get views of the Burj Khalifa, which comes later in this video, Business Bay, and the sea, the towers are symmetrically positioned on the seven-story high pedestal. The banquet hall and eateries are all located on the podium. The four-story entrance lobby has a view of the business bay. The banquet hall with a thousand seats has a separate entrance. One of Dubai's largest spas is located on the terrace, which is also planted with gardens and a pool. As a result, travelers always choose to see the JW Marriott Marcus when they are in Dubai. But for you watching this video right now, yeah, you! Click the subscribe button and I might pick you to stay in this hotel. The next hotel is for you. Number 6. Burj Al Arab 650 million US dollars, a 7-star hotel. Carlos Ott, the design architect, claims that he was the man behind the original design. Without signing it, he had delivered a design inspired by sailboats to the secretary of the governing emir. Ott made his way back to Toronto. The secretary who gave it to the authorities was later detained and imprisoned. While his staff was unaware of who created the design, the emir appreciated it. Ott discovered that the concept had been given to Tom Wright to develop and was already being built when he went to Dubai for some other business. Ott acknowledged his error and had not claimed ownership of the design. With 321 meters height and 60 storage, 
Burj Al Arab, which was inaugurated on December 1999, is the fourth tallest hotel in the world. It is served by 18 different elevators. Its appearance is reminiscent of an Arab sailing ship, and the fact that this stupidly expensive hotel is built on an artificial island adds to its uniqueness and raises the expense of construction. Number 5. The Dubai Mall, 700 million US dollars. This is the premier shopping destination in both Dubai and the entire world. Spread over 500,000 square meters in size, the Dubai Mall includes 1,400 different types of stalls, and parking can accommodate up to 160,000 parking spaces. The largest marine park in the world, as well as an Olympic standard skating rink, are both located in this stupidly expensive shopping center. Number 4. The Burj Khalifa, 1.5 billion US dollars. The Burj Khalifa is without a doubt magnificent because it is the world's highest tower at 828 meters. 2010 saw the building's official opening following six years of construction. The Skidmore, Owings and Merrill team that created the Sears Tower in Chicago, the former record holder for highest structure in the world, led by Adrian Smith in the design of the Burj Khalifa. The project's architecture was seen by Noor Group Consultants International Limited with Hyder Consulting serving as the supervising engineer. The layout was inspired by local Islamic structures like the Great Mosque of Samara, one of the biggest and best dining, shopping, or entertainment complexes in the entire globe may be found in this stupidly expensive building. Number 3. Dubai Marina, 10 billion US dollars. Given that Dubai Marina is designed to be the largest artificial marina in the world, it deserves to be included on this list. The creators of Dubai Marina pushed the waters of the Persian Gulf into the site in order to build the artificial marina, creating a new waterfront. The three-kilometer-long complex has a sizable center stream that was dug out of the desert. This major public space has been allocated more than 12% of the site's overall land area. Although the marina's water surface takes up most of this space, there are also about 8 kilometers of beautifully manicured public pathways. This stupidly expensive complex offers 120,000 rooms, upscale shopping, dining options, and bars. Dubai Marina will soon develop into a new destination for entertainment around the globe. Number 2. Palm Island, 12.3 billion US dollars. Dubai constructed the Palm Islands to extend its tourist-friendly coasts. Although Dubai is recognized for its beaches and sunny climate, the 72 kilometers of coastline that it currently has was insufficient to handle the goal of tripling yearly tourism to 15 million visitors. The answer was to build a sizable island with a palm tree shape that when finished in 2006 would extend the coastline by 56 kilometers. With its array of retail establishments, dining establishments, lodging options, and residential buildings, the island is envisioned as a city unto itself. Palm Island, one of the man-made wonders of the world, is even linked to the Great Wall of China. Themed hotels, condos, villas, marinas, beaches, dining establishments, and retail centers are all first-rate and more than enough to satisfy any traveler here. Also in this stupidly expensive palm-shaped archipelago sits the city's most well-known Atlantis Hotel. Number 1. Private Islands, the world, 14 billion US dollars. You should rethink your option if you believe that palm islands are the most expensive structure in Dubai. Instead, the island known as the world with a development cost of up to 14 billion dollars is ranked first. 300 private islands are offered for sale to billionaires in the form of private ownership, ensuring complete seclusion from the purchasers. Sheikh Mohammed launched the project in May 2003, and four months later in September 2003, dredging was underway. 20 of the islands purchased in the first four months of 2007 were among the 60% of the islands that had been sold by January 2008. In January 2008, the last stone for the breakwater was set, bringing the archipelago's construction to an end. Each island in this stupidly expensive project has an area of between 23 and 84,000 square meters and can be purchased for between 7 million and 1.8 billion US dollars. Richard Branson, a billionaire, has acquired the island that stands in for the United Kingdom. 
With these stupidly expensive buildings in Dubai worth multi-millions, you wonder who can afford to live in this place. Oh, I know, it's probably the top Hollywood actors that are making millions of dollars. You can check them out in this next video, you'll surely like that too. Don't forget to subscribe for more such stupidly expensive things from around the world and do hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our important video updates. So like and subscribe to the channel because that's not expensive.